All right, folks, time for yet another unboxing in Amp Dino. Um, got a sound stream for you this time. It is one heck of a large amp. This is the Soundstream Picasso PA15000D. Uh, these amps are rated at, well, depends on who you believe or which man you believe. On the box, it's rated at 2500 watts RMS at 1 ohm and 1100 watts at 4 ohms, 1750 at 2 ohms, and 5000 watts max power. Um, online, however, the uh, online manual states that it does 700 watts RMS, uh, I'm sorry, 600 watts RMS, my bad, at 4 ohm, uh, 1100 watts at 2 ohm, and 1700 watts RMS at 1 ohm. So I have a feeling there was a little bit of a course correction in terms of sound stream um, once they got out there, which if it does 1700 watts, um, not too shabby at all. I paid uh, $191 for this amplifier off Amazon. Um, you can find it all day, every day for about that price. You can find them even for a little bit less than that sometimes on eBay for like 189, 185, etc. cetera. Um, so let's jump in here. Let's see what you get for all hundred and ninety dollars that you pay. Uh, first thing we got inside here with the remote base cable, no knob yet, and this is pretty nicely packaged in here. Um, I like how they have these middle styrofoam caps here to keep the amp protected while it's in transport. We got also in here, we got your Allen keys and spare fuses. Uh, these are monstrous fuses. These, these are 100 amp a piece fuses. Um, and there's three spares, some screws, your Allen keys, and a very, very cheap remote base knob where one of the ears is actually already snapped off. So that's what you get. You get a little bit of a plastic job here and yeah. Of course your owner's manual and back here are the specs that come in the box um, which is 25, it says 2500 watts at 1 ohm. Again the online manual says less. So we'll find out when we dyno it what we really get. So getting into the amplifier itself. This is a this is a heavy but very nice looking amplifier. Um, it's got a nice brushed black finish on here with the um, brushed finished Soundstream logo and the tarantula. The yeah, Soundstream means arachnids nowadays. So that's kind of nice. On this side of the amplifier here. You have got your power and ground. These are zero gauge inputs for your power and ground. Very nice. Um, looks to be at least an eight or a ten gauge for your remote. So that's a little, that's a little overkill, if I say so, on the uh, on the remote wire. And here are your three 100 amp fuses. So I got a feeling this thing is going to draw some current. Um, this is a little disappointing though on an amp this big. You've got your 8, 10 gauge, or 8 to 10 gauge size uh, uh, speaker wire here, and there's only one speaker terminal. So that's a wee bit disappointing on that one, especially if you were going to be putting out 2,500 watts. 1,700 watts might be okay. On this side, you of course you have uh, run this far side here. Here is your RCA out for linking. So this amp is strappable. This knob, this button here, is a uh, master slave um, out for slave in or out for master in for slave. You have your uh, low pass filter, your gain adjustment, your RCA ins, RCA outs, your remote base cable. I will not be using that because the uh, remote base knob is now broken. Your phase shift, bass boost, and your subsonic filter. 
and you power up the deck lights. So, oh, this is a good when you've got a uh, hurt shoulder. Not easy to move this thing around for you. But um, this is a solid looking amp. Um, I think we'll pop her open and we'll take a look at the guts. Um, and, uh, you know, when we go take a look at those, and then as soon as we're done looking at those guts, we're going to strap this baby up to the amp dyno, and we'll find out what is the real number on this amp. Is it 1,700 watts RMS at 1 ohm, or is it 2,500 watts at 1 ohm, or is it none of those numbers? Is it lower? Is it higher? Um, I got a feeling if it, 1,700 is closer to the real number than 2,500 watts. Um, and let's hope we can get that number. All right, so I will see you after the dyno and uh, I'll share with you my final thoughts at that time. Alright folks, final thoughts here on the Soundstream Picasso uh, 5000.1D. Uh, you know, not a bad amplifier at all. Um, again, you, you know, I mean, I really wish Soundstream would be a little bit more clear as to how this amplifier is rated. Um, again, the owner's manual that came in the box is different than the owner's manual online. And it looks like the owner's manual that's online is pretty accurate as to how this amplifier is actually going to perform. Um, it, as I showed you online, it said uh, 1700 watts by one um, at one ohm, and uh, we got over that uncertified, uh, got way over that on dynamic, and uh, just a little bit under that on certified. Um, so, um, not a bad performer, it, it certainly draws quite a bit of current. Um, as you saw, I mean, we got over 240 amps pulled on that uh, certified run, and that does not make for the most efficient of amplifiers. So if you are going to want to run one of these, make sure that you do have all your electrical systems uh, in place and upgraded. That means big three, probably at least another battery or two, and uh, you might even want to look at a uh, high put alternator, which... You know, by the time you do all that, um, you're going to spend quite a bit of money to run a $190 amplifier. But, um, again, it, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised by this one. Um, you know, the last Epsilon amp that I tested um, didn't perform anywhere near as good as this one. Um, like I said, this one's pretty accurately rated. So, is this a budget gem or a budget bust? Well... It's a gem. It is. Um, it, it exceeds the um, benchmark amplifier that we put out there in terms of cost per watt. And um, it exceeds in terms of uh, being able to meet its ratings. 
um, at least uncertified and dynamic. Again, a little short on certified. Um, of course, you know, at, when we hit there, we were a little bit under the 14.4 uh, on voltage. So nice, dry, nice job sound stream. And um, again, if you're looking for an amplifier uh, under $200, again, this was about 189 bucks is what you can find them for. And uh, you need, you know, right around 2000 watts, 1700 watts. Uh, don't be afraid to look at the sound stream. And that's it for me. I got more amps to test. I'll see you next time.